That missing husband is causing that frustrated wife. That missing man is causing that missing dream. We're going to have to take our children and embrace them. We're going to have to take our women and embrace them. We're going to have to take our God and embrace them. And as we reach out for our sons, we're going to have to teach our sons a work ethic. You have to get up in the morning. You have to work from fancy to fancy to fancy sport. That work ethic is something that's fading pretty much. You remember the song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm? Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Old MacDonald's son had a garden. Old MacDonald's grandson had a can opener. And old MacDonald's great-grandson had a Big Mac with french fries. <laughs> We're going to have to teach our sons particularly what it is to be a man. What it is when you find yourself in the midst of a dark corner to brighten the corner where you are. Yeah. And we can say all we want to about the white folks and blame the white folks all we want to. That ain't going to do no good. Yeah. Yeah. It's true we've had over 400 yeah. years of being put down, yeah. of being told you ain't nothing. And if somebody tells you that long enough, you believe a little bit of it. But brothers, we can't afford to point the finger, not even at ourselves. It's time out for pointing blame. God will help you and me if we're willing to help ourselves. Yes, we are not responsible for it, but we are responsive to it. I guess not being responsible for something could make you find excuses. <laughs> but the excuses don't do no good and ain't nobody listening to it. <laughs> Why do we say it don't do no good to complain? Because ain't nobody listening. <laughs> nobody. Our Truman tells the story of this man who goes to jail on two counts for being drunk and for starting a fire in bed. <laughs> the man stands for the judge, now, 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 your honor, <laughs> you're right by that first charge. I was drunk. <laughs> I, I, I am drunk. <laughs> but, but regarding that the second charge, the bed was on fire when I got into it. <laughs> Brother, you didn't cause all this problem. Of course not, you didn't cause it. The bed was on fire when you got in it. But you gonna lay there and be roasted? <laughs> Try to find a bucket of water, find a hole somewhere, yeah. find God, and God says, I'll help you cut out the fruit. Yeah. Right in the corner, where you are, all you have to do is stretch your hand and find out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, John, Returning God's man to God's plan. Yeah. Right in the corner where you are. Secondly, be positive. All the brothers say be positive. Be, be positive. positive. Even in the midst of the negative. Even in the midst of the negative. Now let's say it together. Be positive even in the midst of the negative. Be positive, be positive even in the midst of the negative. Be positive even in the midst of the negative. Amen. 
the negative is here. Yes, it is. And anybody tell you black folks are in trouble, can't see. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody tell you the brothers are not in serious trouble, can't see. Amen. Amen. Any category you can name, we are at the bottom of it. Yes. 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 You know the statistics. We are yes, yes, in yes. serious trouble. Yes, yes, yes. It's a negative situation that we haven't caused. But let's listen to Jeremiah again. Yes. Jeremiah 29, yes. verse 5. Yes. Build homes right. and plan to stay. Yes. Talk about why you're in Babylon, Iraq. Plant vineyards, yes. for you will be there many years. Marry and have children, then find mates for them and have many grandchildren. Multiply, everybody say multiply. Multiply. Don't, don't, don't dwindle away. Those are Jeremiah's words to you and me. Say so you're going to be there a while. Yes. These conditions are not going away with a snap of a finger. 50% of our kids in high school don't graduate. Going into the 21st century without a high school education. And a high school graduate in a lifetime earns three times as much money as a high school dropout. And a high school dropout is three times as likely as a high school grad to end up in the penal system. We have problems and they're not going away overnight. You're going to be here in Babylon a while. But be fruitful. Plant fruit trees. Don't die. Don't diminish. Don't give away. Black folks are even beginning to commit suicide now. And you know suicide was never our thing. I told you about the Golden Gate Bridge. People travel to the Golden Gate Bridge from all the world to jump off it and commit suicide. And in all the years of the Golden Gate Bridge, only two black folks have gone off. One was thrown off and one was blown off. particularly from the church. In American churches, 75% of the congregation are females. Amen. Thank you, sisters. Amen. Lord, where would we be without the sisters? Amen. But that's in the American church, generally, of all ethnicities, 75% of congregants are females. And the black church is closer to 85%. Amen. We are disappearing in the black church. Yes. You can look at your proportion in any black church you visit. Brothers, we've got to multiply in the church. We've got to work in the church to help our people outside of the church and inside of the church. We're going to have to lift up our young boys and them, and a woman can do everything, but it's unfair to ask a woman to raise a man. Brothers and me were here early when the pilgrims marched ashore in 1620. We had already been here 102 years earlier, brought by the Spanish to see how we could cohabit with the Native Americans. Yes, yes. So when the pilgrims marched ashore, Native Americans and African Americans marched out to see them saying, welcome to our land. Yes, yes. We were coming from Africa as early as 500 AD, trading, looking at gold, so that Columbus in 14 1992, two years later, writing in his third autobiography, I saw Ghanaians, people from Ghana, Africa, trading in gold. We opened up the Pacific Northwest Territory. George William Bush, a black man, 
Studio.